We had uh, SmackDown Friday, where we had the big deal at the end of the show, where Roman Reigns comes out, and he, of course, gets attacked by Sami Zayn in a hoodie. Place is going crazy for Sami Zayn. And, uh, you know, I don't know, dude. What's up? I mean, I've come up with a lot of, a lot of fantasy booking. And I want to make this clear again, like I do on every show repeatedly. I'm not fantasy booking Sammy and Roman and Jay and everything. I am not fantasy booking that for Montreal because I don't think Sammy should be in the main event of WrestleMania. I am fantasy booking that because I am presuming he's not going to be. So with the presumption that Roman Reigns and Cody is WrestleMania and Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns is Montreal, my booking, my fantasy booking is about how do we make both of these work and not get Cody booed, okay? Well, what I can tell you is what would not be in my fantasy booking is Roman Reigns coming out and cutting a promo and saying, I don't want to talk about Sami Zayn. He doesn't deserve a shot at WrestleMania. I want to talk about Cody Rhodes. Because when Roman offhandedly uh, dismissed the idea of Sami Zayn in order to talk about Cody, did you guys hear what happened? Everybody started booing. You got to avoid that. Otherwise, they're going to turn on Cody. Okay? Deal with one thing. And then afterwards, when you do whatever you're going to do in Montreal to set up the tag match in Mania, then deal with the other thing. You cannot be doing a you cannot be doing a segment built around Sami Zayn, and and have Roman dismiss him to talk about Cody. It's going to get the fans angry at Cody. So anyway, Sami attacks him. Roman beats him up. In run Solo and Jimmy Uso, they beat down Sami. And then Roman challenges him for Montreal. And what is interesting, what is interesting, is that uh, they had another match on the show, which was Braun Strowman and Ricochet defeating Imperium to become the number one contenders for the tag team titles. That tag team title match is taking place on Friday, this Friday. And Jey Uso was not on Mara. He was not on SmackDown. I don't think he's going to be on Raw tonight. The storyline is, where is Jay? What is he doing? Now, what, he's going to show up on Friday? Maybe he will. My guess is that Jay isn't going to be there and that Jimmy is going to defend the tag team titles with Solo and they will beat Braun Strowman and Ricochet. And that will carry on the story of where is Jay? What is Jay doing? And, you know, maybe Jay will show up before Montreal. Maybe they'll just hit Sammy's music and Jay's going to come out with him. I don't know. Guess we're going to find out. But we shall see. And by the way, for those of you that keep getting confused, it's Jimmy that cannot go to Canada, not Jay. Well, and Jay was not around for the house shows, and they did that match with Ricochet and Braun Strowman against Jimmy and Solo, so that probably is the way it's going to go. I think the way that you maximize this, in my eyes, is Jay in Montreal is a very conflicted man by the time he gets up there to that country, into that province, and... That would probably be the time, if you're going to do some evil, if you're Jey Uso, that might be the time to do it on Sammy. That way, you have Kevin Owens to come out, maybe try to help make the save, maybe even Cody, but probably just Kevin Owens, and they stand strong at the end. And then on Monday, they're going to stand in solidarity with Cody because they hope Cody rips Roman's head off, but guess what, Jay and Jimmy? We're going to take your titles at WrestleMania. And I think that's, again, there's a more charismatic way to get there on the microphone. But you know what? That's the way I figure it's going to go. We also had a just preposterous. I, I know they're all into, uh, you know, 
sponsorship and branding or or whatever. But they they had a a NASCAR deal where Ray and Dominic were going to race each other. Okay. So they they hate each other. They had brawls at the house. Dominic got put in prison. Okay. Jail. No, Mike. He went to he went to prison. That's he went to the prison. big house, not the little That's... house, the big one. Okay. So they both just show up to have a race, and they're standing next to each other, and of course they're totally facing the camera, and they're they're gonna race, and then they get into the cars, and they've each got a you know another driver. Who probably has their own wheel and gas pedal, I guess, like a you know when you're learning to drive. <laughs> they're doing a race of a ride along. So, uh, so <laughs> then they're racing, and they mic them up, okay. And so, as they're racing, they're they're trash talking each other, and you know Dominic's saying like, "I hope you got my pops a booster seat," stuff like that. I'm just watching this going, dude, like I was I was into this feud, but this is so corny, like not for one second did I watch this and think these men hate each other. I thought this is a father and his son who deeply love each other and are trash talking in the bumper cars. <laughs> I'm just watching this thing going. What is this? Will you stop? And then, How can, then they the get out of the cars, and then we kind of have a little bit of a pull apart, and Dom says, I would have won if Rhea was here, because I guess she would have been in the car and steering it or something. <laughs> That's a mommy knows. I'm like, God. <laughs> what, what are you so surprised about? This whole thing has been corny and goofy, and yes, it's been a much better use of Dominic Mysterio, but look what we've had. We've had a guy go over and attack a man on Thanksgiving. They went over to do it again, his own father, on Christmas, and they end up calling the cops. He gets sent to county. The mom slaps the girl. I mean, this whole thing is a spectacle anyway. It's going to continue to be this way until they actually God, have a match. Look which, at these nerds. Do you want to do mask versus hair at WrestleMania? Is that what we're doing between Look father and son? Look at these geeks. It was fun, they say. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. How could you take this feud things, seriously Brian? after a fun cornball segment where they're playing bumper cars? God, yeah. maybe they can go to Wild Waves and each go down a, a water slide and race that next. God. Can they still make a slip and slide? Roll one of those out across the Super Bowl field, and we'll see who can actually like run. No down and slide fun allowed. The yeah, longest. I'm the bad guy. No fun allowed. Yeah, why don't they do laser tag? Why don't they fight with lightsabers while they're at it? Come on. Oh man, laser tag and get Hector Guerrero back in. He'd be Lasertron again. And you can be the boogie woogie man, Brian, like you and Tom. It's safe to say this is not the second greatest storyline in wrestling. Yeah, it's safe to say that for sure. I mean, it wasn't second anyway, because, I mean, the first best storyline is the bloodline. The second is uh, uh, Keanu James and the Virgin. Oh, you said, well, you stop. And it's all, it's all, everything else is below that. Osprey, Omega, you know. Oh, come on. I know. Fallon and Lee and Keanu James. Then we apparently had a SmackDown match with... Uh, Natty, Shotzi, Shayna, and Zelina. I guess that happened. I barely remember it. Natty won. I probably was still thinking about that uh, that race. <laughs> but, you know, I got to say this. You know, Natty's been gone for a while, and, and she's in great shape. She is in great shape since coming back. I don't know what she's been doing in her time off, but she looked great. Apparently working out. And then that Roman Reigns segment. So uh, that was SmackDown, everybody. Poor Steffi. Every time she comes out, she gets... Poor Steffi, all right. Yeah. Any, anyway, she, her and her dad were in the, in the ring, and he was oh, going to give gonna her... it's going to be quite a review a, tonight. He was going to give her a trophy for something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the good old days. And then uh, Shane tells his dad he wants to run Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this is insane. Meanwhile, right. there's gigantic news in the world of wrestling that we're not talking about because we got to talk about a Raw from 25 years ago. Yes, Granny? 
Can I stay long enough to hear what the news is? I know what it is. Well, we don't know what the news is officially, Granny, so just tune in tomorrow. No. <laughs> what a crummy show. Oh. Wow! <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? What the... If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.